As we wrap up our, our special edition of Hannity and Combs, we continue now with Howard Wolfson and the architect, Carl Rove. All right, now, the... Well, you like that. It's the, the no, architect. Absolutely. All right. Um, all right, so we got another debate Thursday, the vice presidential debate. Governor Palin. Now, here's Joe Biden. Here's a guy that's been in the Senate 30-plus years, Senate Foreign Relations Committee, uh, seasoned debater that he is. Uh, I, I asked Governor Palin if she, what she thought of this, and she yeah. said he, she, she understands he's a good debater. Yeah. Uh, the real question on this debate is going to be, uh, from Palin's perspective, is Palin going to go out there and are we going to see the woman that we saw in Dayton, Ohio, and at the convention, and uh, you know, comfortable in herself, or are they going to have over-prepped her, stuffed too much information in her mind, and made her a little bit uncomfortable? Because she's really good in these when she's in reading the speech. And talking. Well, not only, not only reading the speech, but just talking with people, and uh, it's another thing uh, if they get her. This is her first. This is, this is important. I mean, the question is, is she used to debate? Is, can she treat this like a debate that she would have in Alaska where she's going in, in front of 100 people with the incumbent governor and having a, having a conversation? I, I thought she gave a very, very effective speech at the convention. I said that. A lot of my friends in the Democratic Party were not pleased about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but since then, you know, she has not performed particularly well. And her interview with Katie Couric, I think, was nothing short of a disaster. It's a good thing that not a lot of people watched it or focused on it. This bailout actually took a, a lot of attention away from from it. If that's the woman who shows up, if that's the candidate who shows up this right. Thursday, it's very, very bad news well, for well, John McCain. Well, we do McCain. know this, though. Joe Biden will show up, and the Joe Biden <laughs> we will see will be gaff-prone, no. and, 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 and careening no, out of control. Look, like in, watching a perspective, in fairness, train, train in fairness he's going to have to make sure that he doesn't hammer her or go after her, and I suspect that what his people are telling him is, I have look, two words about that. Rick Lazio. No, what, Remember well, when he walked right. over across that's the stage? Right. That became what, a big deal. Uh, but, but Biden has the advantage. He doesn't really have to debate Palin. I mean, he has to be respectful. Mm -hmm. But he's going. He's debating John McCain. He's not debating Sarah Palin, and he shouldn't. All right, but by the way, in retrospect, that was not a big deal that Rick Lazio walked across, you know, the poet. He menaced her. What are you talking about? Oh, it, was, I, I'm, uh, it was a terrible moment in American politics. Yeah, but I mean, I thought it was so <laughs> overblown in terms of its analysis. Uh, the people right, let me, let me disagree, disagree with, with you. Good job of, 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 of yeah. putting yeah. gasoline yeah. on that particular car. Uh, it was a terrible moment. But, 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 it was frightening. It was, it was, oh, yeah, yeah all right. Frightening. Here you go. He's still on, uh, on <laughs> message. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <That's it>. The <laughs> Secret Service were ready to jump out at him. Governor Palin, I want to ask this, because I spent a lot of time with her. And, and I think, uh, and, and I was talking to her about things, you know, on camera, off camera, and when given an opportunity to expand on issues, uh, she was well versed on national security, well versed on economic issues. But I, there's always that, on energy. I mean, you know. yeah. But there is always that danger. You say about over prepping a candidate. It was that Ronald Reagan's first debate, Walter Mondale. Uh, he was not prepared. I mean, he was over-prepared. I, I don't know if over-preparedness was the problem with that Katie Couric interview. I think when you're asked what your foreign policy experience is and you keep talking about the fact that you can see Russia from the state yeah, that, that you were governor of, that's not a question of over-preparedness. Uh, that's just not knowing Carl, what to say. Last, last night, uh, you saw Biden on the cable nets, including an interview here with, uh, with Chris Wallace. Sarah Palin was nowhere to be found. Do you think they were trying to keep her off the post-debate analysis? No, I think they were trying to give Joe Biden a role in the campaign. I see. Uh, <laughs> so, I see. That's a good. good that's, a, that's called spin. That, that's no, no, a very no, good. No, spin. No, look, I mean, he's disappeared from sight. I mean, this guy. This guy's been in the window 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 protection program. Oh, no, 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 he's out. But how much coverage is the guy getting? Hey, that's Carl, thankfully not a much. It's, it's, it's the biased right wing media. It's not covering him. After the Katie Couric interview, what were they trying to avoid putting her in a situation where she could look bad? Oh no, no, no. Look, I think they. I think they're trying to get Joe Biden some visibility. Seriously, I mean, because look, he has been. Campaigning in individual states. No, the McCain but take, campaign were the ones who put out Palin. They but, didn't but put take, her out last No, 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 no. But, but look, she's getting a lot of press. But but they were, they're, Biden is <laughs> a lot of it's not so good. Carl. And I think they're trying to. I think before the debate, they're trying to give Biden a higher profile. The sort of Biden is in. out there all the time because he's oh. good and he's comfortable. Sarah no, no, Palin no, is not. Look, he's not good. He's out he there a good. gaff a day. I no, mean, he's not. Yes, he is. At least he's, he's, he's out there. He's disagreeing with Obama every day. Carl, it's not. Carl, it's not. Yeah, remember, remember. After all, we do have Joe Biden, who well, last night in the debate. John McCain was disqualified because he supported the war in Iraq. Well, so did Joe Biden. So we Carl, didn't hear that. Joe this, Biden's the, not our nominee. The, it boils down to this. The, the, McCain, the, the, the Obama campaign is not afraid to put Biden out there. The McCain campaign is carefully protecting Sarah Palin. Right? I know I disagree with that. I, th I think the Biden campaign, the, the, the uh, Obama campaign is happy to have Joe Biden out there because they know that little or no attention is being paid to him. And I think last night they said <laughs> in the run up to the debate right. next week, give him a slightly. You know, Howard, profile. I think we're seeing what, what, how, what a good he's, spinner he's, sometimes Carl can He's, be he's good. The fact is, Joe Biden is very effective. He's out every day. He makes news in these local markets. He's great. Sarah Palin was a disaster. And hey, by the way, we got to run here, but, no, sure. but I got to tell you no, something. Sure.
with the it. The fact that he didn't know who the, the president was in 1929 and that, you know, talking about FDR. Yeah, FDR and when television, television was invented. I think we're talking yeah. about a very minor gap and compared he, to what Sarah day, Palin has had. Did you see the Katie Couric? And, and, no and he did disagree, by the way, with, with his own candidate on a series of issues. <laughs> like substantive please, issues. Sarah Palin couldn't say what it was that John McCain had done to regulate markets, despite the fact that John McCain is out there every day saying he's a regulator. I, I he said, I'll get back to you. Is that a good get back to you? We heard a commitment to clean coal on the part of uh, Senator Obama after Joe Biden, not a few days ago, said, All right, I guys, we're not building another coal. Thank you. Yes, thanks, I hope she got back to Katie Corrigan. Thanks That's right. for a great two hours, both of you. Thank, thank you very you. much. And uh, that is all the time we have left this evening. Thank you.